What up, guys? We're back for another video. Today, the Whitestone Dome Silk Screen Protector for your Z Fold 3. Now, I did remove the one that does come on the Z Fold 3. If you haven't seen that video, guys, check it. I'll drop it in the cards above. You guys can go check out that video first. You want to be very careful when you do remove it. But the reason why we remove it is so we can put a better one on. And that's what we have here in the Whitestone Dome Silk Screen Protector. Now, you can see here the packaging, their branding on the front. And on the back, it does tell us a little bit more about it here. Ultra thin glass. So this is an ultra thin glass screen protector, shatter resistant layer, flexible layer, flexible adhesive. Now this is specifically for the Z Fold 3. They do have other ones for the Z Fold 2. I will drop their link below. And shout out to Whitestone Dome for sending this over for me to check out and review. Now inside of the box here, we are going to get a bunch of different things laid out on a table. And it also comes with a remover pack. So if you ever want to take this off, you can use that to take it off. But we're going to leave that to the side for now. So here we do have the actual screen protector here. We're going to leave that to the side for now. This is our rig or our jig, whatever you want to call it. This is what we will place our phone in, and it does have the cutout here for your camera bump, and you will see how this works. Now, we do have a squeegee, which very cool. We do have all the stuff to clean the screen. You want to clean your display before you attempt this, and then the other parts that go on top of the jig. Very simple process. Just take your time and try and do a good job. You know, we want to do a good job and get all the air bubbles out. We don't want anything under our display. That's why we got to clean it. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to take our jig and this strip right here goes on the back of the jig and this will keep it from sliding around on your table. And you're just going to lay it on the back and it's sticky on both sides and it just sticks on without any issues and it stops it. It doesn't stop it. I can still move it, but it's much better. So it does have a little grip now. We're going to take it and we'll throw our phone in. Make sure your phone is powered off. You can see how dusty and grimy it is. The fingerprint's on here. So we do need to clean that display, right? So we throw it in. Make sure your camera bump matches up with the holes and the cutouts here on the jig. Then you are going to take your little alcohol prep pad. Open this guy up and clean your screen. Again, take your time. I want to make sure everything, all the dust and the grime is removed from here. We don't want any of that underneath our new screen protector. So get it all off of there. Then you're going to take your microfiber cloth and, of course, you're going to wipe it down. Try not to touch the display after you do this, right? That's how we get dust. That's how we get grime again. Fingerprints, we don't want any of that on there. So I would recommend cleaning this inside of the jig so you do not have to hold it, right? We want it to be as clean as possible. And last but not least, we're going to take our sticker here, our dust remover sticker, and you're going to use this and get any last bit of dust on here. And if you look at your phone from an angle, you can kind of see little dust particles that still might be on there. Go all around the edges, get the crease, get the seam. Again, look on an angle and checking at it from the side, it does look fairly clean. So we're going to go ahead. Now we got two pieces here. This big piece here is going to go into the back. There is a cutout in the back here. It's going to place right in there. And now we're just about ready to do this install. So we are going to take this film. Take it out of here. And as you can see here, we do have some cutouts here. And we have cutouts on the bottom. And on the jig, we have cutouts here on top. Four of them here that will go into these holes. And then three on the bottom here, which will go into these holes. And just for me using this, I can see we have dust already on top of the display. So we're going to go back. We're going to use this again. And we're going to get that little bit of dust that did fall on there just from handling this on top of it. So that's how easy it is to get dust and everything on your phone, right? Just cleaned it, and already we have dust on there. So now what you're going to do is you're going to remove this back piece. 
do not touch the sticky piece that you're removing because you will get dust there. So you want to make sure you don't ever touch that. So grab here. Now you want to place it, these holes. So you got four holes on top. Make sure it's in. And you got three holes on the bottom, which you want to place also. Make sure it is on there. And then you have one last piece here that's going to sit on top and hold this in place. And then you're going to grab your squeegee, and this is where the fun begins. You're going to start to just very slowly squeegee this on. Go about halfway, give it a double check, make sure there's no bubbles, right? It looks good right now. And hopefully this works out. I use squeegees for a living at my day job. So I use squeegees every single day for about 20 years. So I should be able to do this pretty well on here. So go around, hit it again. Looks pretty good so far. And I'm going to look at it from an angle and see. I don't see any bubbles on it. It looks really clean and really clear. So the next thing we are going to do, guys, is we're going to take this top piece off. And then you're going to want to peel this. You're going to take it from the bottom. Again, don't forget to remove this. Very important to remove this. And you're just going to peel very slowly. Your edges still might not be laid down. We'll go back and we'll hit that with the squeegee, of course. So you can see the edges are still there. So we're going to go back and we're going to hit it with the squeegee one more time just to get those edges on there. We want to get those edges nice and clean. I can already tell this looks really good. I don't see any air bubbles on here right now, but we'll check it soon as we're done now you're going to remove this back bracket and we'll take a look at it real quick and that's basically it guys look how clean that is man no air bubbles at all we'll take this out look how clean that is no bubbles anywhere on here a little bit of dust right here but very clean and we'll power it on. Let's fold it real quick and see. First fold with the new protector. Man, that's a nice screen protector, guys. Very clean. I do really like how this looks. The white stone dome silk screen protector. Very clean, very nice. Works really well. And one more check. We'll power it on to see how it looks on. And we'll see if it, you know, if it messes with the touch sensitivity at all on here. And that's the last thing we're going to check. We're just going to check to make sure everything works the way it should, that the swipe, the gestures all work, touching it, and, you know, I want it to work just like it should. So we're going to check that out real quick. But the White Stone Dome Silk Screen Protector, guys, $89.99 is the price on this guy. So we'll check it out. Let me put in my pin. Starting up Android. And we are back. Let's see. So... Everything works just like it should. And we are good to go, guys. The White Stone Dome Silk Screen Protector. Really good screen protector, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Very easy installation if you take your time. Overall, I really like it. I do have some other videos coming, guys. And we'll be back soon. I got some Z Flip videos coming. I did order the Panda Z Flip. So I'll be back soon, guys. Enjoy your day. The Whitestone Dome Silk Galaxy Z Fold 3 Screen Protector. Check it out, guys. I'll drop the link. Stay safe. Peace.